Ladies and gentlemen, there is my diamond 10,000 watt series converter. But, but this video, as you can see, I have a lot of money invested into tools and equipment. But this video is going to be, Daisy and I decided to set up a Patreon account. Now, this is not begging for money. We are not here to ask you for money. We are going to give you a service if you decide to become a Patreon member. And I've been thinking about this quite a bit. I'm not real happy about doing this, but considering the fact that Bluetube, Bluetube has decided to reduce our total income to less than the price of a cup of coffee a day, I decided that it's time to make some changes around here. Now, you can leave your opinions, and your opinions are welcome, but I'm not the type of guy that really takes opinions unless they're completely objective, per se, seriously. Now, and I'll tell you why. I have accomplished, in my short lifetime, a lot. At the age of 33 years old, to give you an idea what kind of man I was, even when I was young, I went, I needed a barge with a crane on it to put in six pilings for one of my clients and the guy didn't show up with the barge. And I went from New York City to Traverse City, Michigan and bought a 30 by 50 foot, 188 ton barge. Never having been much past Hell's Gate in the Hudson River. I flew to Michigan, I bought a barge, I bought charts, I bought a Loran system because it was 1988, and I took that barge from Traverse City, Michigan, from the coal dock, to New York City by myself, and I am the first person to traverse the Erie Barge Canal in a vessel that size. No one even came close. Some boats, but this is a 188 ton barge with a crane on it and a pile driving unit going through 33 locks and bridges by myself. No deckhand, no engineer, which means when it needed fuel, I had to find fuel and fuel it up. When it needed repairs, I repaired it. When it broke down in Port Austin, I spent six weeks making a compound bevel gear because my gear which was a conical gear system in the machine itself blew apart and I modified it me I me I I modified it by using a ball bearing uh, excuse me not a ball bearing um, and a four axle bearing from that I bought from Universal Bearing, like a, a Universal Bearing. I bought a Universal Bearing from Universal Bearing in Universal, Michigan, or on Universal Avenue in Michigan. I cut the shaft, I cut the conical gear off the shaft. I brought the shaft from the barge with a, with a boat that I rented to the machine shop. Then I cut the six inch shaft off with, on a lathe I did this myself. The man qu qualified me to use the machinery, and then he let me use the machinery after I checked out on each machine. It was Port Austin Machine Shop. Then I cut the shaft, then I welded a plate on the shaft, then I went and welded the flange, uh, built a flange for the universal bearing, put the flange on the side of the shaft, and then I went to the barge with the same, with a grinder and a um, uh, other tools, modified the other side of the universal bearing so that it, to, to replace the conical beer, gear bearing by myself now. My dad helped for about two weeks, went on his vacation, took a vacation to Michigan. My dad helped for about two weeks. I was making gears. I was making bevel gears that didn't exist, welding teeth back on gears that blew apart, and modifying something 
that was built in 1940 for the U.S. Navy. Now, I did this by myself. My dad helped for two weeks, but other than that, I was the one who designed it because I am a licensed A&P jet mechanic qualified in almost every machine in a machine shop or can figure out how to work every machine in a machine shop. I took those parts with the crane, lowered them into a boat, brought them to shore, got a forklift, took the parts from the boat onto the forklift, rented a pickup truck, brought the pickup truck to the machine shop and then modified the shaft and the gear system, built gears, and I did this without anyone's assistance or or expertise. So if you, and then, and then I put it back together and then I finished a trip from Port Austin, Michigan to New York City by myself with no assistance, no deckhand, no engineer. So if you think that I care about people on YouTube and what you think about my expertise in mechanics or or that I'm asking you for money, which I'm not, you're going to receive something for the money if you decide to become a paying patron member for a certain amount of money. You will receive a day's stay in the hotel, including electric and water, when it's finished. And that'll be about 18 months from now, so we're looking at maybe August or, or hopefully, well, let's see, this is, uh, it's May now, next May, uh, Christmas time of 2018 slash 19. You'll receive a day's stay in the hotel. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'll do the numbers later. Uh, probably would be for a $10 a month patron a donation, or, or actually it's an investment, for a $10 investment each month, every, say, five months, you'll receive a day's stay in the hotel. And let's say if you stay on for 10 months, I'll make it a three-day. You'll get a day free if you stay for 10 months. You'll also receive links privately through emails, or I can find out if I can put them on Patreon. You'll also receive links that are not recopyable, not reusable on YouTube or any other venue. You'll also receive those links privately of the construction on the site itself. So it's not e-begging. I'm giving you a service for the money. But don't come on here, warning, don't come on here and say I'm e-begging you. I'm not. I'm giving you a service, which is more than most other people provide. Is there anything you'd like to add, Daisy? Mm, nothing. You, you, you talk all. I talk all? I talk a lot? Yeah, I, I, you talk a lot. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, what? Um, excuse me. Finished? Yeah, I'm speechless. Speechless. There you have it. That's my proposal. You can decide to or not to become a Patreon member, but for that service, you will receive links that are private that no one else is going to see. You will see the actual construction of the hotel. If you don't become a Patreon member, you'll see videos like Daisy and I fixing the machine or working about building a form perhaps now and then, but you won't actually see the construction. And that's how I'm going to work this. Until further notice, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And if you want to see the barge I bought and brought back from Michigan, just Google Barge Dragon. B-A-R-G-E-D-R-A-G-O-N. Barge Dragon. World's Most Dangerous Jobs. It's in YouTube in the world's most dangerous jobs. It's certainly underneath Barge Dragon. And I'll see if I can find some old videos of the barge working, working, doing jobs. But those videos are on drives in New York. So for now, Daisy and I bid you God day. These are the tools I used when I owned a company called Zolacraft. Z-O-L-A-R-C-R-A-F-T. These tools are all 35, 40 years old. Most of them I got when I was in high school or before. Back up, honey. Um, the, uh, these are the Milwaukee's from the 1980s. This is a new nail gun. 
This is a 1980 reciprocating Milwaukee with an adjustable. It's a 50 year edition. This is a 1980 Makita. It could be 1981. A, a Magnum hole shooter screw shooter. Milwaukee. Makita grinder. My jacks from my on time backhoe company. There's a 20 ton jack. I have a floor jack behind it that I use to, uh, to, to bend some steel on occasion when I need a press or press out a bearing. These toolboxes were bought in the 70s from my first company, Zola Craft. And you can see that we're coming quite along. I have my slings outside. I'll show you some of the stuff that I can show you outside. But most of the stuff is going to remain private and I should add one more thing. I don't want to meet anybody until the hotel is done. I don't have time for, for blah 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 as they call it in the Philippines. I just don't have time for that and most people wish to meet me and they say I'll buy you a beer. I don't drink alcohol. Most people will say well, I'll buy you dinner and then we go out and I end up paying for the, for the dinner and they pay for the drinks or they split the cost of the dinner. I've done that now three times I'm over that I'm I'm really not interested in meeting anybody uh, maybe if I have a different venue on pay on patron we can talk on Skype for a certain amount of minutes each month if you make a certain donation I'll see what those options are I'm trying to get in touch with somebody on that has a patron account but for now I really don't have time to meet people you offer me a sandwich a sandwich you wanted me to spend two or three hours with you. And I've had a heavy equipment company my entire life. I have had people say, I'll, I'll make you dinner. You just bring your 188 ton barge and your pile driver and two men to my house, which takes two hours to get to by water, of course, by waterway. And they're gonna make me dinner, a, a lousy six or $7 dinner. And they want me to move 250 tons of equipment and a pile driver and two men spend forty dollars for fuel and work for three hours to put a piling or two pilings behind the house and gonna make me dinner I'm not interested I don't care about lunch you would have to promise me a lot more than dinner to sit down and take three hours of my time up and you're not gonna do that because my previous experience with people in YouTube and my YouTube subscribers that call me number one, you're the number one real, they, they take me out for, for lunch and then I have to split the cost of lunch with them. Oh, and the guy who took my shirt and never gave me the money, that's another thing. I spent five hours getting somebody a, an on-time backhoe shirt and he disappeared. He disappeared, I haven't heard from him since. And he was supposed to give me the money for the shirt. So I don't trust people on YouTube. I don't care what you think. I never cared what you think. I'm never gonna care what you think. I am a self-made individual, self-made man in the Philippines. I got here because I put my onions out on the line to dry my entire life and this is where I am now so I'm going to show you what we have accomplished if you think that I you you disagree with my comments or my commentary remember Daisy Daisy told everybody in a previous video who's number one babe Michael Fazio. and who and what about the subscribers they're all they're all number ones. You're all number ones in my book, baby. I don't care what you think. I never cared what you think. I'm never going to care what you think. This is painted plywood for our new house. This is plywood for forms. This is half of a workbench. And this bench is going to go up on top of that plywood, the extension that I made. I'll walk you over here. This bench here goes up on top of that work platform and that's where the power miter will be set up next to that bench 
side by side, which will make, I'll have a, a 16 to 20 foot bench, haven't decided on the, the length yet, and that's where the forms, and the lengths of the wood, and the pieces for the wood, and the painting, and all that other process will be done, because down here is where the, the, uh, the columns, the concrete columns go in. And over here is going to be my storage area for, I'm going to cut, I'm going to cordon this off with some of the plywood. And over here, all over here is going to be storage for uh, sand and gravel. And rocks, because I will have uh, the, the stairs leading up to the hotel will be made out of rocks and, uh, and cement. So. This is how I got my stuff to the Philippines. And here we are. This is Michael Fazio and Daisy May saying, I hope you decide to become a member of our Patreon community. And if you don't, <laughs> I, do, <laughs> I don't care. You won't see the videos of the hotel being built. You won't get a free room, and I'm the only person that I know of on YouTube that's giving you something back for your investment. And you can see, we have a serious operation here. So, God day to everybody from Michael Fazio and Daisy May once again in the Philippines. Baby. Oy vey. And shalom from Rabbi. Joe Parker in the Philippines, baby.